More questions than answers over Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un's proposed summit. The White House did say Monday they expect it will in fact happen. North Korea made several promises and if we hope that they would stick to those promises and if so the meeting uh, will go on as planned. But since Trump said he was willing to meet Kim last week, it's been whirlwind speculation from experts over the most basic details. When will it happen? Where? And what will they talk about? The timing of the summit isn't clear, possibly around the end of May. And there's a long list of potential locales, from neutral nations like Switzerland to Singapore and even Mongolia in Asia. However, Kim Jong-un hasn't left North Korea since he took power in 2011, at least to public knowledge. So an overseas trip may be out of the question. Previous meetings with U.S. officials have taken place in Pyongyang that may pose a political risk for Trump. When Madeleine Albright visited in the year 2000, it was criticized as an endorsement of the regime. That leaves the Korean demilitarized zone as a top contender at the joint security area between the North and South. It would allow Kim and Trump to meet without traveling far from either of their militaries, and they wouldn't be seen as making a pilgrimage to an enemy capital. What they might discuss is another big question. Beyond the future of North Korea's nuclear program, Trump and Kim could potentially talk about swapping detainees. North Korea has at least three Americans and six South Koreans in prison, and Pyongyang has demanded Seoul return a dozen North Korean restaurant workers who defected as a group to the South two years ago. But as of now, the ball's in North Korea's court, and it's kept uncharacteristically quiet. So far, state media hasn't even mentioned Trump's invitation.